Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Gonna work on my three ring binder journal today. When I first got this binder journal, this set of grid paper was what it came with. They're good, but kinda limit my creativity. So recently, I've made my own sheets from leftover scrap papers. Love working on them so far. Just whatever scrap papers that I want to use up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I've been doing that. First, take one of the grid papers as a sample template sheet. Here are some of the pattern paper leftovers I have in my stash. All this, all this can be made into backgrounds for my three ring journal spreads. I chose those that are small enough like the original sample grid papers. Taking the sample grid paper, I'll measure up the size. 6 cm by 8 cm Setting up my paper trimmer I'll just start off with this pink paper Put it at the 8 cm mark Now the width at the 6 cm mark So that's one shape done Let's do this green one next For untidy edges like this I'll need to tidy it up a bit So now with these two sides straightened I can begin to trim it to size 8cm mark cm mark let me show another one 8 cm mark oh well a bit of tear there 6 cm mark again I'm gonna do a bit more under a time lapse. Here are them all trimmed to size But I have these old books I use for my journals You can see here I've written this on the cover <laughs> I'll choose a page full of text like this
these all Chinese books I got them from a local neighborhood shop that put them out for free Similarly, I'll trim this book pages to size. So that's everything all trimmed up. Time to arrange the orientations. These gem bottles too. These birds. Lastly, this pink heart. Using my single hole puncher here. Taking this earlier sample grid paper Just taking a small stack first I'll use the grid paper as a template Punch through the same three holes I'll do another small stack Rechecking gear on the right side up Make sure the papers don't move I'll do the rest quickly here These are the previous ones that already done some time ago. 
Let's take them out. I'll add them onto my new sheets. Taking out these original grid papers next. I'll count how many sheets I've left here. There's 31 of them. So I will need to take the same amount of sheets from these new ones I've made. And just for fun, I'll shuffle this up to randomize. I've taken out some few sheets there to make up to 31 sheets. Put my shuffled stack in the binder. These two book pages didn't get shuffled, so we're gonna separate them. Let's change it with one of my earlier discarded sheets. So I can now start to do my three ring journal spreads using these pattern papers. Not so boring as these grid papers. I mean, I can use these grid papers for other stuff, right? So I guess, that's it! Hope you find that illuminating. <laughs> Just wanted to share with you my processes. So till then, happy journaling and bye bye. <laughs>